So you might ask, why am I standing at the Mitchell Theaters in downtown El Dorado? Well, it's because next week is Kids Week. It's going to be a featured week of great activities and excitement for our kids in El Dorado. And on Monday, Movie Monday, you can come down to the Mitchell Theaters and you can see Minions, The Rise of Gru for free. And then on Tuesday, you can come down to McDonald's Stadium to watch the El Dorado Walnuts take on the Winfield Moose in a great baseball game. And if you're a kid, it's another free opportunity for you to get out and have some fun. On Wednesday, Swims Day, the municipal pool will be open for free from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So come on down, bring your towel, and bring your favorite rubber ducky, and enjoy a free day at the municipal pool. On Thursday, the uh, Oil Museum just down the street from the theater will be open for free, and they'll have a bunch of activities, fun games, and maybe a treat or two. So go on down to the uh, Kansas Oil Museum and find out what they have going on on Thursday. And then Friday Night Lights on Friday, that's going to be at North Main Park, putting on a number of games, relays, fun events and activities. So there's a lot of activities going on next week. We're going to put the schedule on the post so you can check that out. It's also available on our website at eldoks.com. That'll give you all of the events, where they're at, and what time. The important thing is it's all free for kids and uh, we want kids to get out and enjoy this great week of fun activities right before we get back to school. Yes, I said it. School is coming. It's only a couple weeks away. So get out, enjoy the fun. Speaking of fun, uh, National Night Out is coming up on August 2nd. The El Dorado Police Department invites everyone to make plans. We'll have more information coming out very soon, but make sure you pencil that in uh, so that you can make it, uh, plans to attend. Also, the police department's looking for a couple of community sponsors to help make sure we have sufficient resources uh, to make that event a blast for our community. So if you're interested, contact Chief Mike Holton uh, at the Alberta Police Department at 321-9100 for more information. One more thing that we're anticipating uh, coming up in the next few weeks, surprisingly, is the Gold Fest. This year's Gold Fest will be a buttoned event and we encourage citizens and folks that are planning to attend the Gold Fest to purchase their button in advance uh, so that they are ready to go. Gold Fest buttons are available right now for purchase for $8 um, and then after September 1st, that price will increase to $10. So again, buy your ticket, or your button rather, as soon as you can, so that you're ready to go for all of the fun and activities uh, for Gold Fest. Of course, we'll have more information about the upcoming Gold Fest in a subsequent video, uh, so please keep watching for more information. Also, one thing that we need to continue to remind folks, if you enjoy these videos or get some value out of them, uh, make sure that you share them on your social media platforms so that number one, more people can find out what's going on in El Dorado. Uh, and secondly, we can build up an audience so that we can continue to inform our community about all the great things that are going on. So subscribe, share, and push that information out uh, so that more people are informed about what's going on. Well, there's a lot going on in town. Thank you for another great show. And we'll see you next time on Things to Know, what's happening in El Dorado. Have a great week. One thing I forgot to mention for Gold Fest coming up, uh, we've got a great lineup for our concert, but the headliner is Jefferson Starship. So they built this city on rock and roll and you'll not want to miss their uh, part of the concert. So make sure you get your button for Gold Fest. Remember, $8 goes up to 10 on the first. <music>